Hi everyone, Kate here. I hope everyone out there is doing well. I wanted to briefly touch base on a subject right now, which could perhaps be out there just to get aroused out of everyone for whatever reason. Um, but basically because that's its objective. Again, I don't know for certain. And the subject of which I'm talking about is the whole um, transgender no longer being allowed in our military. Um, this is something that bothers me, <laughs> them not being allowed, for multiple reasons. Now, let me explain why. Um, first of all, is going to be because I am straight, and as a straight individual, I'm not going to sign up and go be in our military. So, if a transgender or any other individual wants to do that, that's their choice. But I'm not going to. So I feel like how are we going to say that it's not okay when some of us that are straight aren't even going to be courageous enough um, to do that? You know, at least they're going to. Not only that, they're going to fight for the very freedom that allows them to be transgender. Not only that, the military fights for our freedom, right? I mean, this is what we're told. But seemingly more and more, what are they fucking fighting for? Is it our freedom? Do you feel freer as an individual, as an American? Do you feel freer as an American? When our transgender community cannot even join our military to fight for the very freedoms that they want to be or are. I mean, to me, this no longer makes sense as a society. And I, it's frustrating. It's, it's frustrating for me because I'm not going to sign up and fight. And I have respect for the people that do. Whether or not I agree with um, any of the military stuff to begin with, the fact that I'm not going to go do it, but somebody else is, I have respect for that. Like, I can respect you. I'm not going to lay my life on the line for this country. Not happening. Um, but again, if somebody who's transgender is willing to do that, I really don't see what the problem is. I don't. And if you have a problem with it, then feel free to voice it in the comments or whatever you need to do to voice that. And if you're in agreement with me and think that, you know, they're entitled to fight for the very freedoms that we are supposed to have as Americans, <laughs> which anymore, what the fuck does freedom mean? Um, you know, let me know on that too, but I just wanted to quickly give my two cents on the situation and what I thought and felt about it, which is pretty much that we are all individuals and we are, are here to simply live. Sure, we can pass judgment, we can do this and that, but at the end, doesn't matter. Like, let people be. Let people be. Especially if you're not willing to go do what they're doing. So, I just want to also state that, like, if a draft were to occur, would the transgender community then be exempt? Because I feel that if this ban is reinstated, it should be um, that they're just, they are exempt from a draft as well. And at that point, like, fuck, I might want to be transgender for the benefit. No, I know that, like, I don't need to play with that. But, um, I mean, the military is definitely not something I ever want to do. And so... If we have willing individuals that are willing to go and risk their life for this country, why do we have an issue with it? Because in the end of it, them, as in our transgender community, going and fighting and literally signing their life away affects you. Because for one, you don't have to do it. And for two, they could be saving your life in the end. So 
it should not matter who is willing to fight for this country that is supposed to be the land of the free, but quite frankly anymore, seems like it's the land of indoctrined society and judgmental individuals who have zero respect for the people that are willing to do things that we are not. But either which way, again, if there was a draft, would it be expected that these individuals get to go? Has that question even been asked? It has now, yours truly. Anyway, this is Kate signing off for the evening. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.